Do you want to be able to farm infinite juniper berry seed oils for EXP accumulation potions and wealth acquisition potions just by AFKing for 2 hours a day? Well, you've come to the right video. So my friends Dave, Scott and Andy wanted to know how to farm juniper berry seed oils through Thread of Fate. So I made a pretty dumbed down guide from start to finish without going too deep into the system because it's quite complicated. To start off, finish the Mushroom Shrine questline until you get a quest in your light bulb called Threads of Fate Unraveling the Threads of Fate. Do the questline until you unlock Takano Konoko and Kurama. Talk to both of them every 30 minutes to raise closeness by 2 or 3 each time. There is no limit to the number of times you can talk to them, but you don't gain any closeness past 50. Defeat the boss every day for the Thread of Fate item which gives 7 closeness to any NPC you choose. Try to get to 50 closeness on one of the NPCs first. Gift Take no Konoko Red Potions and Kurama Arrows to give them 3 closeness. You can gift them all the way to 100 closeness but there's a cap of 5 times a week that resets on Monday Reset. So I recommend that you only gift when you reach 50 closeness on them or if you're about to hit Monday Reset. On a side note, every Monday Reset, closeness on all your NPCs drop by 10. Once you've reached 50 closeness, you've unlocked the Ask option. Click that on one of them and if you don't see anything to do with chop wood or gather herbs, then log out and log back in. Ask the other NPC to see if they have anything to do with chop wood or gather herbs. If neither of them do, then don't worry about this for today. The first ask from the NPC resets every day, so repeat this every day until you get the quest with chop wood or gather herbs. Once you do get it, the NPC that gave you the quest is the one that you should be focusing on getting to 100 closeness. You can just park the other NPC at 50 closeness. Ask the NPC with chop wood or gather herbs and AFK for 30 minutes. Don't change channels or do anything that might change your channel like Ursus, Frito Portals or Bossing. Otherwise you won't get the suspicious herb pouches. After 30 minutes, you will get suspicious herb pouches based on your closeness with that NPC. It's basically your closeness divided by 5 rounded down. So if you have 50 closeness, you'll get 10 pouches. If you have 100 closeness, you'll get 20 pouches. You can repeat this 5 times a day for a maximum of 100 suspicious herb pouches if your closeness is maxed out. Now, you can actually lock this in so that you don't have to go through this tedious RNG every single day. How? Well, remember I said that only the first ask quest from the NPCs resets every day? The point of getting two NPCs to 50 closeness is because we want to roll the NPC without the chop wood or gather herb quest. Don't quite follow? Okay, so here is me actually doing it. My current setup has little Kurama as my herb poucher and Takano Konoko as my fodder NPC. So, on the first day, we have Takano Konoko with the Go to Perion and Dance quest, while Kurama has Go to Ariant and Chop Wood quest. After I do the ask 5 times, I'm maxed out for today. Now, tomorrow. The first thing I do is ask Takano Konoko, which will roll her quest from Go to Perion and Dance to Go to Ariant and Dance. Okay, log out. Log back in and now ask Kurama, and wow, we still have the Go to Ariant and Chop Wood quest. This is what I mean by only the first ask resets every day. Do this 5 times today and repeat this process tomorrow. Now stop trying to farm juniper berry seed oils by harvesting. That's just so inefficient man, come on. Which idiot actually farms by harvesting juniper berry seeds? 